Today we're going to be playing through the real shadow mod created by Ultimate Darkman. And this mod isn't just a simple model swap, it actually goes ahead and replaces a bunch of models inside of Sonic's kit and overall makes it feel like we're truly playing a shadow. Within this video I'm going to be running through two stages, one rival fight, and then I'm also going to be running through another stage to show off Shadow's super form within this mod. But with introductions out of the way, let's hop into the game. And I had to show off the main menu real quick as you can go ahead and see as he actually went ahead and took inspiration off the Shadow of the Hedgehog game using its logo and also picture right here. But if you can also hear as well, as I'm kind of scrolling through the menu, you actually hear the clicking that the gun makes with inside the Shadow of the Hedgehog game on GameCube and PlayStation 2. It's pretty crazy that he was able to add that. It's such a like a little detail that he added, but it overall is so cool to kind of hear and see. I wish more mods would be more detailed like that. All right, so here we are jumping into the first stage, and of course I have to, you know, run through City Escape with Shadow at least one time. Even though Shadow doesn't truly, you know, run through City Escape in Sonic Adventure 2, it is the game that he was introduced in, so gotta run through that for the first stage. I'm still kind of deciding on what I want to do for the second stage just because there's so many stages that could fit Shadow. I'm kind of in between like Seaside Hill or Crisis City or even you know possibly Planet Wisp. I guess Planet Wisp wouldn't really make sense because he's not in Sonic Colors but uh, I'm kind of you know still trying to decide here. But you can kind of see you know he has a different skateboard there that it's a little bit different than Sonic's. Um, I believe it's a Shadow the Hedgehog on the bottom of it there. And you can even just notice here with just the different animations when we're attacking enemies and jumping off the skateboard here. But you really start to notice it within sections like that where we're doing tricks and everything like that. And then also when you go ahead and run with him. So you can see that he has his skating um, animation as well. But you can also notice on his rocket shoes that his skates actually glow up, which is a super, you know, good detail, you know, that Darkman decided to add. There's been a lot of shadow mods that have been added in generations within the past, but there's never been one that's been super detailed like this. But you can also kind of hear, you know, that he went ahead and added, I believe it's Jason Griffith's voice line. It's a lot of voice lines from it seems like Sonic 06, I believe, that he added, which I think, in my personal opinion, is probably the best shadow that we've had. I really like um, Jason Griffith's kind of take on it. And it's crazy that, you know, he did, I think, you know, I want to say he did Sonic, Shadow, Jet the Hawk, and he might have done more side characters, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's crazy just how, like, talented it is. I remember as a kid, like, I had no idea. I was, like, the same exact voice as Sonic. It's, like, you can notice it kind of now even as, like, an adult, and obviously I know that it is Jason Griffith, but it's pretty crazy. He's a super talented guy, and I would love to see him come back within the Sonic community and everything like that. But I think that they're, you know, going to probably stick with Roger Craig Smith, you know, when it comes to the future of, you know, different Sonic games. But this is definitely one of my favorite mods, I think, that I've ever played in Generations, just because of how, you know, detailed it is, so many different things. I feel like every time I kind of play through it, I'm also noticing, like, different things that he's added within the game. Um, when it comes to, like, the rival fight that I said that we're going to do, you actually go against Sonic instead of facing, like, another version of Shadow which is super cool, and you can also notice even here, he has a completely different winning animation. I'm trying to remember, you know, when that he did that winning animation. I'm not 100% sure on that. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but it may be from Shadow the Hedgehog, but I'm not 100% sure where that winning animation is from. All right, so here we are inside of a stage that Shadow's actually been in, unlike City Escape here, um, that he has run through with his little, his counterparts of Rouge and Omega, you know, inside of, you know, Sonic Heroes. I went ahead and changed my skills up a little bit in this one. The last one, I don't really use Endless Boost on City Escape just because sometimes, you know, the truck is a little bit faster than expected in certain areas. So I try not to use Endless Boost all the time if I'm not trying to die within a stage in City Escape. But Seaside Hill I'm pretty confident in. I feel like that I can run through, you know, the stage without getting absolutely destroyed. No! No, I just had to say something. I wasn't going to die on the stage, and then a big fish comes out of nowhere and just chomps me up and has me some fish food. Like, jeez, I got a little bit too cocky there, I guess. Um, but I'm using the Endless Boost, where you basically don't run out of boost, um, as long as, you know, you continue to press it, which is super nice. I don't think he has a different... Wait, he has a bike? Wait, a bike? No, that's sick. Come on now. So it's similar to Silver, where he has a different actual vehicle here. Silver has his Extreme Gear Board from Sonic Riders. I actually didn't know that he had a bike, and I've played this mod before. What the heck? Okay, maybe I just have never played Seaside Hill with him. That is super sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This is awesome. I am so happy that he added the bike here. 
There was a, you know, a previous shadow mod, I think that was created by Daku Neku when the game had first kind of, you know, went into the modding scene that I believe that his skateboard on City Escape was actually a um, motorcycle instead of like the actual like skateboard that Sonic uses with inside of that. And Shadow is part of Team Dark in Sonic Heroes, which is super cool. I really wish we got another, you know, Sonic Heroes game. I always wanted, you know, in Sonic Heroes, that I always thought it'd be really cool if you could kind of customize your own teams. I always wanted as a kid to, you know, put Sonic, um, Shadow, and then like Espio on the same team and just have like three speed characters run through the stage. Obviously, it, it would be extremely hard to you know, pull out like some glitches or stuff like that to go through stages, but I always wanted to, you know, customize your own teams. I thought that would be such a cool idea. The winner gets a dozen chili dogs. Are you up to the challenge, Faker? You can keep your chili dogs, you filthy blue rat! Alright, so here we are going up against Sonic in the rival fight. So it's kind of interesting, you know, we're kind of on the other side of the coin this time around instead of, you know, beating Shadow up, you know, it's kind of a what if situation of what if, you know, Shadow beat him up. I tried doing the hard mode of the boss fight or the rival fight because you can do different hard modes and it's usually a little bit harder within that. Sonic, I swear to everything. Sonic! Don't take that! But I switched it up and I was going to try to do hard mode so it's a little bit harder, you know, to fight Sonic here, even though he's kind of, you know, destroying me right now. Um, it actually crashed my game, so I decided to do just normal mode, so we just have to collect two of them. I know you can't really see how many, you know, we have because I have the no HUD mode on. Um, I guess you'll just kind of have to count. Um, but I like kind of doing the no HUD just because you're able to see the atmosphere of everything a little bit better, which I always thought was really nice. And ooh, you can kind of see different animations of his jumps right there. Behold the ultimate power! I've been doing some different shorts with like, you know, different facts with Sonic the Hedgehog, and it seems like people are starting to like them. They end up getting a decent amount of views and likes and everything like that. And ooh, look at that cool animation from him! Um, it's kind of crazy to think that Shadow thinks that Sonic is the ultimate life form. So if you actually like listen into the final boss fight where you do Super Sonic and Super Shadow versus the Bio Lizard, Shadow actually says something along the lines of like, I think I know what the ultimate life form is and it's you, Sonic. Which is pretty crazy to think that Sonic is actually the ultimate life form. I mean, Shadow is just kind of a like a like jacked up science experiment. Oh my god! Gosh, Sonic was big bad that I hit him. Do you hear that? He was like, wow! <laughs> but it's pretty crazy to think that, you know, Sonic is actually the true ultimate life form. If that is true, I don't know. I've always thought that Shadow has way cooler powers than Sonic, even though Sonic is my favorite character. I just feel like everything with the Chaos Spear, Chaos Blast, it, I've always thought that's so much more cool and like how he manipulates Chaos Control. And Sonic can do that, but I don't know. It's just kind of like always been Shadow's thing instead. All right, so I decided the last stage to go through with Shadow is going to actually be Crisis City, since that is one of the other stages that he's actually been through inside of one of the Sonic games that he's playable. Um, but what I went ahead and did is I had equipped if infinite rings here, so we're able to play through Shadow as a super form throughout the entire stage. And oh my gosh, he is so bright that you can't even see him. He is actually shining so dang bright. But all right, here we go. You can actually see that he has a different flying animation than Sonic here, which is another really cool detail that Darkman decided to add here. And oh, you can already see the one-ups kind of starting up here. Oh my god, he's so fast. I'm telling you, the like autopilot that Super Sonic has inside of stages still amazes me to this day. And this is just like actually like a retail thing inside of the game. This isn't a mod that does this. He just actually flies through the stage like that. That is so cool. Uh, I'm not even, all I'm doing is pressing square, bro. Like this is crazy. Chill out, Shadow. I know you're the ultimate life form, but you don't gotta go this crazy, bro. Oh my goodness. I actually didn't even explain, you know, why I decided to do a Shadow mod today because this mod is a little bit older. I think it's been out for about two years now. Um, Darkman has done a, you know, a few different real kind of characters. I know we covered Silver, which I think is actually the first video that I actually did on this channel. Um, I actually got one of the new Shadow figures created by First Four Figures, um, which actually took a super long time to get. It took like, I think I want to say like three to four months. I think I ordered it around Christmas time, and I'm just now getting it, and today is March 7th, which is pretty crazy to think that this is just now when I'm getting it, you know. 
But I'm super excited. I actually haven't unboxed it. It's in my living room. Um, so after this video, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. And I think I'm going to create a short on it. So I'll have to link that short down below if you want to see my actual shadow figure that I ended up getting. And you can't, this man blends in with the flaming tornado in the background. You can't even see him. He is so damn bright. And there you have it. That is the real Shadow the Hedgehog mod. Let me know if you want to see me cover some more different character mods inside of Sonic Generations or possibly Dark Pants other real mods. Um, I'll link his channel down below if you want to check out his channel and check out the different mods that he has created for Sonic Generations. But with all that being said, guys, I do thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of when I do upload, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!